upstairs in presentation. He should be there at the moment. Hello, Philip. Hello, how are you? Uh, very well, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. I, I recognise the place, but it's a different view of it this morning, isn't well, it? Well, what we've done is we've turned the camera around. Normally, the viewers would be over there watching, right. but this morning it's been pulled around for the very first time, so we're sort of shooting from my point of view. This is what I can see when I'm sitting in here I can't in the believe afternoons. it. I mean, there's all that machinery and gadgetry. I mean, were you surprised when you first stepped in there for the job? <laughs> I was a little bit surprised because when you, when you sort of apply for a job like, the, like that, you expect to be announcing, but you don't expect to be pushing the buttons. No, that's the thing that amazes me, and I'm sure people don't realise at home that you are actually in charge of what goes out on the television. It's well, your responsibility. To, yeah, up to a point. I mean, the things like the symbols and uh, and the clocks and things. Would you like to have a look around the desk? I, how do, what, what are all these faders and silly all bits right, and then, Well, I'll show you what we've got then. In that case, we'll start with the vision. What you have here is a fully operational continuity desk and the announcer on BBC One will always be sitting at this desk. Now, the only time it's ever envisioned is for our afternoon pieces, mm. but there is always an announcer sitting here, and he's the one that cuts up the symbol, which is on now. There's the symbol. He's also got charge of oh, what? the clock. He can and press a right. button like that, and there's <laughs> the clock. Now, every program has a covering breakdown slide. That's the breakdown slide. Now, over here is the button which changes the slides, so you can flick through them, or, if you want to be a little arty, you can, in fact, mix through them. And we use this for the, for the charts sometimes. Right. Like that, backwards and forwards. And that's, uh, that's there. Then here we've got uh, the... <laughs> how many times have you seen that, then? Oh, Over here amazing? is how to change it. So you can, you can have different ones. Have you actually had to use that? The temporary uh, fold. No, bit. I've never had to use it. Now, touch wood, you didn't have to say that, did you? Because it's not actually <laughs> broken down completely on me yet. <laughs> now, on the same button there, on the same one as, as that one, we've also got our fizzing BBC logo. That's oh. there. And then we're back to the symbol. So, and also for, for every um, vision output, there's also sound as well. So, if we come over here, there's a ground deck. Now, if something does break down, what you would do is you would punch up the breakdown slide and you would play a little piece of music. Now that's on a remote, press this button here, and off it goes. So you've actually got, got the music there. So and there's also, like... there's a cart too. That's oh, enough of that. Jolly well, good. What are all these television screens? I mean, are you, 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 I thought you'd just have one. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually about 14. Now I'd like to be able to tell you what each and every one did, but I wouldn't be able to. Um, that's a trans the big one there is the transmission monitor. That's my preview monitor there, so I can see what's coming on next. And the rest really tell me um, the next programs that are moving, uh, that are coming up and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Do you want to have a look through the next room? Yeah, I was going to say, because presentation covers quite a whole, uh, it's because of a suite oh, it's, of it, rooms, it's isn't big. it? It's big, it's certainly big. Let's move through, because let's show you what's through the glass. Now, this is what I see to my left, and through here, through our door, is NC1. That's what? Network Control 1, and these are the people who keep BBC One on the air. What, they those do all people? The, they, they do all the timings. <laughs> And they also uh, talk down my ear and tell me just how long I've got before the program starts. This is the chat that Hello. talks down my ear. This is Tim. Hello. Hi, Tim. Hi. Morning, everybody. All right? Morning, everybody. Jolly good. <laughs> now, moving along down the corridor here and outside, I, there's a corresponding desk to the one that I mentioned for BBC One in there because it's exactly the same sort of setup for BBC Two in there. And moving down here, we've got... Good morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Presentation A. The weather's done in the studio just at the back there, and also there's a very complicated mixer desk. Will you show us what it does, Ian? Yes, yes, there we are. We can put a little yellow board around you to start with. Right. And uh, shrink you back a bit, and then do fancy... So these are like the visual effects you can do? That's right. Oh, isn't that... Oh, it's a complicated desk. I couldn't hope to understand it. And we make all our trails in here. Isn't On a Wednesday fun? morning, we'll come in and we'll uh, sort of read through the scripts and things. Would you like... I'll do a trail for you, shall I? Oh, go on, yeah, let's put you on right. the spot, here's, Phil. Here's a trail. <laughs> No, you're going to run that. You're going to run it for us. This is as it goes. Right, go. Okay. 12, 11, run BG4. 8, 7, 6, she can count. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Record break. Tomorrow at 4.40 in Record Breakers, there's an attempt to jump over 10 cars on a BMX bike. Record breaker. Roy Castle meets the world's most prolific hand knitter. And there's a visit to the annual Belly Flop Championships in Florida.
That's Record Breakers, tomorrow at 4.40 on Children's BBC. So you see, that's how it's done in another room just out the back, not quite in here, in a booth. So that's how we read them out. That, and that is went very out yesterday. Clever. So Mind there you, you go. I was going to say, you make it look so easy, Phil, but it's not, is it? Oh, occasionally it bites you. I mean, I, I, I've just gone through it quickly, but there are so many things that can go wrong. And generally, if you have a bit of finger trouble, you're, you're in desperate trouble. Well, I have to admire you. I can see why you got the job. Very <laughs> clever, man. <laughs> all right, well, Phil will be down in Superstore in a little while. Thanks very much for the moment. Thank you. All very clever stuff. That. And by the way, thanks to all those people, Ian, and everybody up there, and Brenda, who all made it possible. Without them, what would we do? <laughs> all right.